Nigerian international Jude Olubodi, who played for the Super Eagles, and also Brent Ford and England joins me live now to uh, look at uh, that game coming up on Tuesday. Well, Jude, uh, very pleased to uh, see you this afternoon. Nigeria uh, has not won in the last three meetings against uh, the Algerians. Can they do it this time, even though that it's a friendly? Yeah, good afternoon, uh, EK. Um, yeah, anything is, everything is possible. I mean, I've looked at uh, the list that uh, Pesero has rolled out, and I think he's more like uh, he's trying a few players here and there, trying to see whether they can actually incorporate his culture, what he expects of the players, whether they can fit in into his uh, tactical, um, um, tactical uh, uh, game. So, yes, anything can happen. And I've just been told that uh, there could actually be two games. There could be a big game this Saturday before the main one. And, and uh, just to get the feel of all the players. So, B players play against B players. So, I, I think it's a good step in the right direction. And uh, I believe that even with the absence of those players, uh, Super Eagles can do us proud as well. Well, as you rightly mentioned, quite a number of key players are out of the side. We're friend in DD uh, as of uh, this morning. Uh, of course, we were informed, got injured, and we'll be out of the game. Victor Seaman out of it, Ahmed Musa, Samuel Chukwezi. Uh, these are very, very key players as far as the Super Eagles team uh, are concerned. Uh, how do you think this will affect the uh, performance of the team? Um... I think uh, it, it, it would affect um, the, it would affect um, 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 the, the, the build up, but uh, Super Eagles. I mean, this is Nigeria, so we've got a lot of players out. Opportunity for those other players to say to the coach, "Look, this is our time. Uh, give us the chance. We show you what we can do." And uh, we are equally as good as the other players as well. So I think it's an opportunity for the fringe players also to stamp the authority in the team and play themselves into the books of uh, the new coach. Because trust me, this new coach is actually, he means business. He's trying to revamp the team. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, in, uh, very um, lovely games. All right. We, we are also looking ahead now to a new era as far as the Nigerian football administration is concerned. Sometime in September, I think September 30 or so, there would be election. What kind of candidates do you think that uh, we should be looking at for uh, to run the affairs of Nigerian football? I think, uh, well, Nigeria, we're blessed. So uh, uh, we have a lot of credible candidates. I mean, I can't go through all of them. I know most of the people I'm um, contesting. But what I can assure is that uh, the kind of leader we need, we don't want sentiments. We'll be a visionary leader. We want a leader that is inspirational. So someone that can actually go up there and look forward and say, this is where I'm taking Nigeria to in the next four years. We need also someone who is strategic and can think as well out of the box. Someone who can uh, continue from where Amaju Pinik has uh, uh, taken us so far. So we need someone also who is interpersonal because Nigeria is uh, multi-ethnic. Um, someone who can bring everybody together and uh, someone who can, uh, is a good communicator and someone who's got an open mind because, hey, look at it. We failed to meet, to uh, qualify for the World Cup. It shouldn't really be happening. You know, so someone who's got a strategy to take us forward. And uh, most importantly, someone who's going to be accountable to Nigerians as well. I think that's what we're looking for. And uh, I'm sure if we do that, those of us in the sports community were supporting and uh, we're wishing all, all of them uh, the best of luck in the elections. And uh, I just pray that the best man uh, uh, best man or woman, you know, uh, emerges on the 30th of September. All right. Uh, well, 